guys, welcome back to my channel. It's La Demi, of course. And lately, I have been obsessed with extensions now that my hair is finally of length to like rock extensions with and just have them like blend in without it being like, <laughs> that bitch is wearing extensions. When you're at home and you're doing your hair, if you're clipping in your extensions, you're looking into the mirror. So you're only getting to see like the frontal vision. You don't get to see what the fuck is going on in the back of your head, you know? I haven't washed these extensions since I got them. They're still fairly new, but finding memories in them. This is Guy Ting. I think the color is two slash six. It's 22 inches. One pack is 220 grams, which is a lot of hair. But guys, I am the most. I always do the most. I live the most. So I got two packs because <laughs> I'm the most. One of my ultimate lifesavers for extensions, wigs, and everything is this oil right here. It is keratin oil. So if you have a damaged wig at home or damaged extensions, if you put this all over your wigs and spray it or whatever, it's gonna kind of just like rebirth your extensions and give, like bring them back to life, make them look like they were freshly cut off of somebody's head. So we are gonna start with picking up all your hair. Just literally put it to the top of your fucking head. So basically, I'm taking a four-piece clip. Usually, everyone thinks the four-piece clip goes to the wig top. I'm taking this four-piece clip, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I guess I will have to turn around. Those short pieces are kind of like lifted up, and um, they're not just like straight down to come down here. So they're kind of like up and away. And as you clip in more extensions, those pieces that are short and up and away just kind of blend in with everything else. Right here, top of ear, top of ear. After I clipped in that one piece, and I just go take this little bitch. Now, also, a lot of people think that you have to tease your hair and put hairspray and all of that stuff as you clip in your extensions or whatever. So if you like, really hold but if you have really quality extensions you don't really need to do all that these clips are pretty freaking secure and I also feel like doing all of that teasing and hairspray is just so much damage to your actual hair and real hair also for the clip to be in all of that teasing and like hairspray and then all day swinging around pulling on it I feel like it's just breaking your hair so you don't really need to do it just every time I clip in I smush it around and then snap it and I hope you guys aren't mad that I'm not showing the back of my head. I feel like it's just pointless because when you when you're gonna do it, you're not gonna see the back of your head, bitch. So stop making. So just kind of blend. My new these are not styled. I have not styled them. I have not straightened my real hair with them or anything yet. So this is just clipping them in these two pieces, and I put these right above my ear. And guys, I have really fine hair. Like, my hair might look full and thick, but my hair is like really fine and not that I have white girl hair. I don't have that Latina hair. Two pieces clip. Brush those hairs down because you don't want to snap them back. And I don't clip it like really close to the front. I leave out all these baby hairs and clip it like right, right behind right here in my face where my eye level is i'm gonna clip three pieces on the sides right there and right there eye level now i'm gonna clip this still eye level but at the back of my head So we're going from eye level, not to brow level, right above my brow. And go ahead and section off. You can feel that one there. Go ahead and section off straight back. Now the other side. Good to go. Next, now that I'm at the top and I have my last um, four piece, you're just gonna go ahead and do your crown. Get all of your crown and put it up. And in the back, you want to go a little bit lower when you're parting so that your clips don't show. And you're going to clip it right to the back of the head. 
these last two pieces are for the highest on my head and um, I actually cut these so I know what side goes on what. At least I thought I did. Now I'm going to take this, I have already cut this into a bang to match my bangs, so you can feel free to cut yours. Now with the Bugatti, you do not need two packs, like one is more than enough. And so my hair can look like a little bit like a blowout all day and super voluminous. I go ahead and put Fatise, it's Fatise uh, dry shampoo, and this one is a Divine Dark with a hint of a little bit of like I guess brown for brunettes because if you use the other one it's way too white for people that are brunette. So I'll go ahead and like spray here and there. Just to fluff it. And it also keeps it from getting greasy throughout the day. And all day I'll just have that like nice fucking flat looking like a little blowout. Oh, pulling out the little hairs I have. But yeah, that's basically it. All my extensions are clipped in. I'll probably straighten it out a little bit to make it blend better, but I feel like as now, even just clipped in, you can see where everything just kind of blends. You don't really see any short pieces. Hair is perfectly ready to go. I feel like this is a really boring video. Watch me clip in my extensions, but this is how I clip in my extensions, and I hope it helped you out. And basically, yeah, just go by the measurements of your face and you'll be set and good to go. Other than that, guys, don't forget, live your life. If you want to see more videos and hacks, go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll post more. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Until next time, guys, live your life. Glam, of course.